Okay, so here's my next travel bullet journal. You can see I've kept with the same theme, the Choose a World Color Book. Uh, there's a bunch of these that I found at my local stationery store. A couple I've used for other bullet journals not related to travel, but these were too nice not to use for travel. Look at that. Okay, so this one is specifically about things to do in different towns. I obviously don't have enough room, if you remember from this journal here. I don't have enough room to write down everything I want to do in every city in Romania, for example. This is Romania here. So for this journal, I've done the general places I want to visit in the country. And so for this journal here, I've specifically said, okay, if I visit this town or that town, what can I do in it? What do I want to do? And so here you can see my first one. I've put, obviously, the name here. This is Vats. And I've put a little map of Hungary and a roughly where it is with this little pin, and I've colored it like the flag of Hungary. Over here I've got a little calendar. My plan was to write, for example, if I go March 1st through 3rd, then I could write that there, put March, put 1 through 3, color it in, and so on, just a cute little tiny thing. Or I could do, you know, March 3 through 6 here, and if I go again, put it here, just keep adding. There's many options I have considered for this, adding lots of calendars as I go, but we'll see what happens. I haven't actually used this notebook yet for traveling. But here I've done all the things I want. Yes, this is a coffin because the reason I wanted to go to Vats in the first place was to visit this Memento Mori exhibition where they've got some old coffins and some mummies and things. Uh, so I've done this here. I left it blank. I thought about coloring it in, but I left it blank so I could, sort of like I did for my world map, in the other notebook, sort of color it in as I do things. So if I do all of this, in theory, I will have colored in 100%. Of course, I could always go back and add something more to the list later, but that doesn't particularly matter. So here's all of the things that I thought could be interesting to do in VATS. Uh, at the bottom, I've covered up stuff with names on it, but you'll see full examples of these others on next pages. It's a little postcard where I've written down names of people I want to send postcards to, buy postcards for. I tend now to want to buy postcards for myself all the time too, so I'm always on this list. <laughs> and here is shopping, uh, reminders of things I might want to get. If it's a new country, I always try and get a mug for my collection. I might do that also for cities if they're particularly known for it or if one catches my eye. But otherwise, so you can see here, memento mori souvenir for myself. Maybe one for my friend or something like that, so I'll write those there as I go. Uh, this one takes a full page, but other ones you can see now take only half a page. And I've drawn something that sort of represents the area. I'm not great at drawing, and some of these perspectives were a little bit hard for me, as you can probably tell, but again, it'll be colored in as I go. And you can see a good example of the postcard now and the shopping bag. And here's Estragom, and you can see again the pins and the country. I accidentally colored in this one because I forgot that I was using it as a measure. I just thought I had gotten lazy and hadn't colored it in, so oops. And it is only black and white, so I couldn't have colored in 100% of it anyway in, in that respect. But I'm going here soon, so hopefully... I don't know what all will be open because it will be around the holidays. But these are things I want to do. I decided to add stars to these ones in particular because I was so excited about it and I got enthusiastic. But there they are. I haven't finished this one yet. And its words are obviously a lot smaller because it's a long name and it wouldn't have fit very well through here if I'd written it with um, two squares each. So these are one square each. Not an important detail, but just something to mention in passing. Uh, this is my last page so far. This is now Greenland, as you can see by my beautiful and 100% accurate map. Uh, this is a town I would really like to visit. There's a lot of stuff to do there. I haven't done anything for this yet. I think there's like one or two things maybe. I don't have a lot of details about these yet. But I wanted to add them all in because these were the four places for Greenland that I had on my list currently. So I wanted them all on the same page. Again, my perspective is a bit off. Sorry if you're an artist and this makes you cringe. That's that. And the rest of the pages are blank. There's no particular order, so maybe I'll do more hungry. Maybe I'll do some other stuff. I don't know yet. We'll have to see what happens. And so that's what this one is. So I've got my local one, and if you remember from the other video, of course, my general one. 
And so those are my two travel bullet journals. And then I've got one more that's kind of a mix of a bullet journal and kind of a planner that I'll show you. So keep an eye out for that one.